Hey guys, Tim Little, Matt Allen, out here uh, chasing that world record spotted bass. Matt and I have both spent hundreds if not thousands of hours out, out here in Northern California chasing this fish. Luckily today, finally blessed enough to get one of the giants that we've hooked. We've hooked it multiple times, um, got a 10.38 on a certified scale, uh, one of the biggest spotted bass ever caught and uh, hopefully you know it could be certified for some kind of some kind of record so um, <laughs> truly blessed thanks for my thanks to my wife for uh, putting up with me all the long long days and uh, and the obsession so thank you good job man Just put in a ton of time finally got it done Beautiful fish. Well, got an absolute absolute toad. Got a six, an eight, I don't know, four and a half, and a 1038. <laughs> awesome fish. Absolutely incredible day. We've worked so hard out here, sleeping on the boat, sleeping in the truck. Today was the day we've hooked a bunch of giant fish, but today, Tim got one in the boat, 10.38 pounds. Absolutely amazing fish. Absolute giant. Gonna release her, let her grow. Catch and release is really important. Hopefully some, someone else will catch this girl a lot bigger someday. You ready to go, girl? Go. We just released Tim's fish. Show you here on the graph. Just put her back in the water. She dropped down to deep water. Came back up to 20 feet. She's just holding, getting used to being back in the water, getting ready to go back down to her deep water haunt. It's pretty awesome when you let these fish go. If you've got your graphs on, you can actually watch them, see what they're doing, and see that those fish really are okay before you leave them. Make sure they're not coming back up to the surface. So that monster 10.38 pounder is headed home, doing good. And